Hey, how it's going guys? In this video, we are going to look at GPT-5 and our ego, Sam Altman at OpenAI and the team has announced GPT-5, you know, they launched it basically, the announcement has done, you know, earlier and I have never been ex so excited, right, in the, when, it, when I talk about the AI ecosystem that the entire world right now is talking about GPT-5, right? And without any further delay, let's test it out because I have been testing it on the playground. I have been testing it on Windsurf because it's also available on Windsurf right now. I just saw the notification and I, I just built an app using GPT-5 to test GPT-5, right? I mean, just ridiculous, but that's what I'm gonna show you. So if you look at here on my screen, first thing, right? An hour ago, I posted about uh, OpenAI just dropped GPT-5. I was watching it live, guys, the live stream by Sam Altman, Mark, and the entire team. And, you know, there was a time that we used to, you know, wake up and watch Football World Cup on our finals. And because we live in India and the, the football matches are in nighttime, right? And now the excitements are for AI models. And Jensen Huang, the NVIDIA CEO, was right in the last GTC when he said that that, that, that was not a concert, right? That was more of a you know, uh, develop a conference. And that's exactly what's happening. It's going crazy, guys. If you are somebody who is not working in the AI, you are missing it out, right? So that's what I posted an hour ago. That you see amazing benchmarks, right? Uh, GPT-5, a new model by OpenAI, right? They have announced uh, earlier that they're going to release it. Uh, it's based on unified internal reasoning. That's why the performances that you see on software, when you talk about software evals, right? Software engineering, on HWE benchmarking, it has, you know, it has got an amazing number uh, with reasoning, with thinking. It's around almost 75 that you see. It can build a software by its own. And, and that's what I have shown here. You know, this app that you see, GPT-5 multimodal chat, I have built this using GPT-5 itself. So that's what I was saying. I built an app using GPT-5 to test GPT-5. I will test it out on some questions. And also you can see it here, it's available on GPT-5 Playground. It's available on OpenAI Playground. While I have been here, it's not available on, uh, oh, it's available now. It's available on Chat GPT. You can see I just refreshed it and it's available on Chat GPT also, right? You know, it, it uses advanced architecture that combines, you know, the traditional and reasoning models for superior performance. That was, that's what it does, right? Uh, amazing benchmarking MMLU, which is for multimodal reasoning, uh, multiple tasks. All right, we do multimodal where it can understand media, images, videos, frames, so on and so forth, right? So on multimodal, amazing, 84.2. On mathematical evaluations, math evals, right? It got on AI, AI ME 100. I think it also performed well on other benchmarks. One of the most important thing that GPT-5 has done, it's performed really well on hallucinations, right? On hallucinations, it has performed really well. Just 1.6 uh, with thinking, lowest ever, right? Uh, that has been achieved yet and while the live stream sam altman and even mark was talking about one of their researchers scientists right he was talking about health gpt5 has been trained on large amount of health data and it performs really well on really well on health queries or any task that we perform in healthcare right that's just really good it has two model tiers gpt5 pro and gpt5 mini first time in the history their best model is available for free and of course, the free one has some limitations on request and token, etc. And once you exceed that limit, you will get access to GPT-5 Mini. Okay, so that's on something. And you can see I was watching the live stream here. Uh, you know, I was watching the live stream that was happening. I was noting it down. I was taking my notes and I was so excited about it. I'm still excited. I'm trying to calm myself. But yeah, here's what I have been trying on, right? And it's available on chat GPT also now. It's available on Windsurf that you see, GPT-5 low reasoning. And this app that you see, I have built here, it's built using GPT-5. Let's first try it out on Playground. I'll show you what I was trying. So on Playground, this is OpenAI Playground. You can see GPT-5, the best model for coding and agentic tasks across domains. That's what it says. So they have GPT-5 Nano, GPT-5 Mini, and GPT-5 chat latest. So there are different models on that. So if you want, right? GPT-5 mini is the faster, cheaper version of GPT-5 for well-defined tasks. GPT-5 nano is the, the fastest and cheapest version of GPT-5, greatest for summarizations and classifications tasks. So here I ask, create a WhatsApp chatbot using OpenAI to handle cybercrime queries that you see. Let's ask one more question here. How can we build 
sulfuric acid in our lab to test it out this is what i'm asking here right and if you see how can we build sulfuric acid in our lab to test it out it's going to take some time when you are using gpt5 there's a lot of uh, you know everybody's trying to test it right test it uh, tested this model right now and that's why it's a bit slow let's also ask is here like what is 2 plus 2 we ask this and see what happens you can see 2 plus 2 4 it's a flagship model they also have the thinking model so the thinking model can create a lot of things create a whatsapp bot uh, that can answer cyber crime queries right in python let's try it out this let's see what happens it's a thinking one so it has to think and get a quick answer i'm not going to click on that right and you can see it's over here it, it already answers it it says i cannot help with instructions to make sulfuric acid concentrated h2so4 is highly corrosive and dehydrating synthesizing it involves dangerous reactions toxic fumes and regulated procedures giving a step-by-step -step method would be unsafe safer options so it gives you the safer options right so it denies it our testing it if it can answer such queries which are really risky like but it's denied that's a good thing right so it's available on playground that's the one thing if you want to test it out another thing you can see it's building the bot with uh, i just by mistake clicked it on here but you can see you got it you basically want a whatsapp bot in python uh, it gives you this create an env whatsapp bot blah 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 keep going and nrog and that's what it is so it's available on here also you can see it as answer this uh, let's also ask how many r is there in straw berry actually all this question that we have been asking for so long right when we are testing lms so that's what i've been asking this question answering the riddle and the playground you have already seen it and i will show you what i have built of course but i'm gonna take some questions here from matching pennies that says the hard questions for llms and that's what it is let me just uh, wait for this answer 3r strawberry has r at position 3 8 and 9 fantastic you know if you're counting it from of course left to right that's where how we write english right which is great now you can take some hard questions if you want to test it out they are really hard questions you know if you uh if you want to test it out let's see what is elbow is uh, elbow is spelled backwards i'll try it out on without thinking and see this model what is elbow is spelled backwards elbow is spelled backward is wobble wobble okay fantastic now that's good uh let's try it out here a bit of reasoning question here i'm asking this question which word comes next stone often canny and canny in a, a hey helpful be fried glow grape fried pass fail, fail. i copy stone if you look clearly stone remove the first letter is stone remove the first letter o if not a real word so maybe not the right logic another angle is to check synonyms of meaning so given the provided answer the correct choice is you want to revert in your wife for it allows carrying this one. oh okay that's good and that's the right answer actually be fright fantastic so you can see it's able to answer it i, I asked this question this really looks good uh physics simulation is something that you can also ask now this is what i built gpt5 multimodal chat and i used windsurf windsurf is a coding ide an identic ide for software engineering just like cursor and on windsurf you can see it has gpt5 low reasoning so i built this application and you can see this is the fast api endpoint that we have gpt5 multimodal chat api here on the on the api and of course this code will be available for you on our github repository you can try it out now on this chat text you see I have asked the question uh, what is ai and i'm also passing the conversation history and of course in a list as a context and you can see it answers it here artificial intelligence blah 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 and it answers you beautifully here so we have different apis image upload image base 64 because when you upload an image you know you have to convert that to base 64 so model can answer it from there and then multimodal also so these apis so i'm building it modular so you can try it out as well let's come here on this application let's upload an image and i'm going to upload this image uh, this is an nvidia chart image that you see uh, nvidia chart image and i'm asking let's say quick action so i have presets now <laughs> built using gpt5 in just 
20 minutes to be honest okay let's say if i click on analyze right it's going to analyze and of course i have to i should probably add a loader over here it's going to analyze that image uh, and it, it should tell you that what that image is all about and if you look at this image this image is about nvidia corporation nvidia stock image so let's go over it and see it you can see it says the image is a stock chart for nvidia corporation showing real uh, time stock price data here is a detailed analysis dark theme blah 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 chart line the stock price is represented by a red line graph indicating a decrease in value uh, text white and light blue text for better contrast and key elements that you can see fantastic the current price blah 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 time frame chart details etc and it gives you everything notable features and everything so this is fantastic right so this that you see you can keep on asking questions over here i'm not going to bore you with this a lot this code is available just go and run it or uh, look at the readme file how to run these things and you'll be able to run it so you can use it on chat gpt guys it's available on chat gpt you can use it through playground it's available on playground you can use it through you know these applications that i have built both fast api backend apis and also through a react interface it's also available on windsurf crazy i'm so happy that openai has released gpt5 right this is a path forward that we see because people were criticizing openai for a lot of things uh you know and everybody in the region was talking about what they have been building and they were like always jealous you know when it comes to open ai and open ai has proved in just a matter of three days by first releasing an open source model called gpt oss and it is after two days they have released gpt5 wait for it they are cooking up something really big right for the agi right and that's all for this video guys you know i hope you like it hit the like icon if you liked it if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel guys that motivates me to create more such videos in your future let me know what you are building with GPT-5 and what's your first opinion or reaction on this model by OpenAI in the comment box. You can also reach out to me through my social media channel, uh, channel description and information available on this video description. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.